Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey sat down with goalie Spencer Knight, a Connecticut hockey alum who was recently selected by the Florida Panthers 13th overall in the 2019 NHL draft entry. This makes Spencer the highest drafted goalie since 2010. The last time Gotta Love Connecticut Hockey sat down with you was a couple years ago. You were just about to start your time with the USA Hockey National Team Development Program. So yeah. what was that experience like? From the day you got there to the day you left, you know, you obviously can see you know, a lot of improvement in like, all areas, not just the hockey, but you know, off the ice too. And being there, it's, you know, it's hard, but you, know, you develop a bond with 20 something other kids and it's, you know, it's pretty cool. What is your favorite memory from the development program over that two-year period? Just being in a locker room every day is pretty fun. And then obviously the international tournament is pretty cool. Against Sweden, Canada, Finland, all the really good teams and big crowds and traveling the world is pretty cool. What skill do you think you improved upon the most for your style of play from the development program? You know, I took my game and almost made it a little more simpler. Less movements, you know, keeping everything composed and compact and easy. So, you know, bringing things in and just, you know, being a little more calm than that. You were drafted 13th overall by the Florida Panthers. Take me through draft night. What was that experience like? You know, you obviously know, I mean, you're not going to go first or, you know, you know, a couple picks here, you're not going to go. But once you get to a certain area, you start to sit on the edge of your seat a little bit. Everyone's like, you know, just enjoy it, just enjoy it, right? So that's what I try to do is just enjoy it, you know, not really worry about where I was going to end up. It's really rare for a goalie to be selected in the first round, especially at such a high number. So this is the first time the Panthers have ever selected a goalie in the first round. What drew the Panthers to choosing you? I think I just consistently proven over you know time that you know I have pretty good capabilities, but you know obviously it's still a long way to go in the first round, second round really. At the end of the day, it doesn't mean a whole lot after draft night, so I'm just gonna keep working. So going forward. What do you think you need to do to elevate your game to this level of the show? For me, I think um, everything's about moving less, and I've been trying to balance you know, almost being a little bit aggressive, but also being really like laid back and calm and reading the play. I think balancing that's huge, and I think the biggest thing too is just angles and just awareness in the net, knowing you know how much you have to move because you know the net's really not that big, and you already cover a lot of net just standing there. So I think it's really big. So you're heading to BC for the fall. What are you most excited about to join such a prestigious program? Yeah, and obviously, you got a great team, a bunch of really good players, and I know a couple guys going in there, a couple guys are on the team now. You know, obviously, a great school. You know, Boston's a great city to be in, so. So, taking back to your youth hockey days, what was it about playing here in Connecticut that really made you want to continue playing the game? I just like to be on the ice, like playing, and you're always with your friends, going on the road trips, and. You're not doing any of the driving, you're not doing any of the logistics. You're just playing hockey and playing rug hockey in the hotel. So the whole experience is really fun. So, What advice do you have for kids that, you know, at one point were in your position that are like, I see all these guys from Connecticut that are drafted. What do I need to do to get there? So what advice do you have for them? You know, coming up, I didn't really think about, you know, the drafts until, you know, obviously a couple years ago. But in youth hockey, I think it just, you have to enjoy it and you have to have fun with it. If you don't want to be on the ice, you're not going to you know, put forth your best effort and therefore you're not going to get any better. So I think having fun, working hard and just taking, taking it all in, you know, is the biggest thing.